All right, good morning, traders. Today is 9-11, September 11th, 2024. Good morning to you, and good morning to everybody out there, uh, everybody in the BYOB trading room. Good morning to all my people out there in digital land. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being a member of my Facebook group. Thank you for uh, all of your patronage, whether you're in my room or out on uh, digital land. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, so my SPY pivot this morning is 546.23 above it. I'm a bull, below it, I'm a bear. Wait a minute, we got CPI today, all right? So today might be a good day to sit on your hands, take the dog to the vet, you know, go to the dentist. Just saying it's going to get volatile. Might have to just wait and wait, let the... Let the, let the market decide which way, which direction they want to go. Uh, just saying, CPI is coming out today. Uh, might be a day to, like, change the sheets on the bed. Uh, you know, clean out the air filters. Go vacuum the garage. Just telling you, all right, it's going to get volatile. Save your capital if you want to, all right? Or pull up a paper account and trade it on paper. And that way you'll have a, a, a more experienced trading and you won't lose any money. Just saying it. Trying to put that out there ahead of time. I don't. I hate to see anybody lose money. Okay, all of the Fab Five, except for IWM, are in daily uptrends. SPY, QQQ, FNGU, those three all made higher highs and higher lows, closing inside their bearish traps under their 17 EMAs. SPY closed with a two-hour uptrend and a 10-minute uptrend. Diamond Dow made lower high and a lower low, closing inside a bearish trap under the 17 EMA. IWM also made a lower high and a lower low, but closed below the bearish trap under the seven. <coughs> Excuse me. Under the 17 EMA, gold and silver both in uptrends. Silver made a higher high and a higher low, closing inside a bearish trap. Under the 17 EMA, gold also made a higher high and a higher low, closing over a bullish trap over the 17 EMA. UNG in an uptrend made a higher high and a higher low, closing over a bullish trap over the 17 EMA. USO in a downtrend made a lower high and a lower low, closing uh, inside, not inside day, closing under a bearish trap under the 17 EMA and the US dollar index still in a downtrend close near the 1016 area. All right, let's go take a look at some charts. Hey, good morning Scott, Marley, T, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Appreciate that. Love that. Love that a lot. All right, let's take a look at some charts. Here's SPY. Start out on 10 minute chart. All right, 10 minute chart. We have a 10 minute uptrend going into close. Okay, now, today's CPI day, so things could get wrecked. All right, just saying that, put that out there right now. Okay, nice move up. I would expect some, some consolidation. We did going into the close, but then the pre-market came in here, put, it, put in this uh, higher low right there. So we'll see where we go from here, a little consolidation breakout today. We'll see what we get. 10-minute uptrend, all right, so all we need... If we want to be a bull, all right, is green erases red. So all we need is a green candle that's not a doji, that's not a topping tail candle, okay? Notice we had the same scenario yesterday, okay? Notice first candle was red. That's a no-go. Next candle was green, but guess what? It's got way more wick than it does body and tail, okay? So that's a no-go. Next candle, red. Next candle, red. All right? So all these candles, red. All right? And then they close out the trend. See this big red candle down, kind of signaling the end of that move down. Now we're looking for an uptrend, and we don't have it here on 10-minute chart. Okay, so they go up and then they do it again. Big candle down into the end. Here's the big candle logic right here, okay? 
when they're done with this big candle kind of exhaustion expect a little pullback or maybe head back in the other direction all right which they did they headed back in the other direction here all right but they didn't get far all right then they came in and did it again all right, then they came back to the bottom where they found support before. See all the wick, the tails down here, and the bullish engulfing. All right, so price action came back in and ripped it all the way back up to the top. All right, so that was the, the candles for yesterday. Now, again, back to today. Again, all we need to see is green erases red. So, okay, so price up over 548.79. All right, as long as long as right, we don't get a topping tail candle right there. See that one topping tail? It's got way more wick, way more wick than it has body and tail. Okay, topping wick candle. No red candles, no green doji candles. Okay, so that's what we don't need. None of those signal a entry. All right, those three. All right, so we're looking for a nice green candle, probably be an igniting candle coming up out of this base. We'll see what happens. So that's the plan for today. There's the 10-minute uptrend. We're looking for a continuation of it. All right, so on the two-hour chart, here we go with the two-hour chart. And two-hour chart, yes, we have a two-hour uptrend coming into the close yesterday. It's a two-hour uptrend daily chart daily charts pulling back okay we are underneath the 8 ema we are underneath the 17 ema but technically we're still in an uptrend just pulling back and notice we pulled back to all-time high anchored vwap here price is up over all-time high anchored vwap whenever i see price up over all-time high anchored vwap I have a bullish bias because that kind of shows me money is flowing into the markets. All right, we're currently in this pullback. Like to see price action take out the body or take out this red candle right here. We're, yesterday we worked our way back up there, but we didn't quite take it completely out yesterday. So daily chart on the SPY, since we took out this high right here, we've been in an uptrend. In order to be in a downtrend, we'd have to take out this low or create a higher low and then take it out by trading below it. Okay, so there's SPY on the daily chart, still in an uptrend, just a pullback here. Big red candle, kind of signaling the end of the move temporarily, hopefully permanently. I don't think that's ever going to happen, but uh, temporarily. And you can see now they need to rest. And they have a little pullback here. So we'll see what happens. Notice those candles were not bullish engulfing. Okay. So uh, it's when you see the bullish engulfing candles like this one. Where price comes down and then price comes all the way back up. Okay. That shows me that uh, price is reversing. Right. This is more of a flag material. We could have another leg down. We'll see what happens. Uh, we do want to see where they set this trend line. Uh, right now we got a point up here and like to see maybe a high or the flag come out to here. We'll see what happens. So there's SPY on the daily chart. All right, let's take a look at QQQ. Let me slide this over. Open this up a little bit more. All right, let's take a look at QQQ. QQQ did the same thing. Higher low, higher high. Closing inside a bearish trap under the 17 EMA, okay? Still in an uptrend, technically, because we took out this high right here. So we're in an uptrend. We'll be in a downtrend if we take out this low, or like I said with SPY, create a higher low and then take it out. Okay, so there's QQQ, currently in an uptrend, but a very long fabric flag, uh, almost as long as the flagpole, okay? So uh, in days, in time. Okay, so QQQ in a uptrend, but flag's getting a little long in the tooth here. Okay, so there's QQQ, all right? Still technically in an uptrend. All right, let's take a look at FNGU. Same deal going on here, okay? Uh, higher low, higher high. Closing inside bearish trap 
underneath the eight, underneath the 17 EMA, okay? Price action, notice, no bullish engulfing, okay? So it's not, we're not seeing like a whole lot of buyers step in, but uh, they're gradually creeping it up. We'll see what happens. FNGU is one of the main components of that robust rally we're looking for. We need this to be bullish. Nothing here says bullish yet, okay? Uh, Two-hour uptrend says quasi-bullish, but on the daily chart, you notice we're still underneath the 8 EMA. We still have a bullish trap. We don't even have a cross yet, okay? So I'd like to see some kind of um, reversal here where green erases some red, starting with this big red candle right there. So there's FNGU on the daily chart. Again, still in an uptrend. It's been in an uptrend since it took out this high right here. Big long flag here going on, okay? Uh, when price takes out this low, it will revert back to a downtrend, all right? FNGU currently in an uptrend. Needs to break out and take out this high. Actually just needs to reverse and start going in the other direction since it's in a bullish it's in an uptrend, all right? So there's FNGU. All right, let's take a look at IWM. All right, so here's IWM. Now, IWM made a lower low, so that put it in a downtrend right here. <clears throat> now, IWM is currently in a downtrend because guess what? It hasn't taken out this high right there. Okay, so IWM still in a downtrend. Even with all of this move up and price over the three and the three and price over the eight and all three of them over this rising 17 we had here, still not in an uptrend because it hasn't made the higher high. Yes, it did maybe on the smaller time frames, you know, like maybe the two hour or the one hour or the, you know, the four hour or the 130 minute, you know. Yeah, probably those were in uptrends, but on the daily chart, we still had not made higher highs yet. So IWM still stuck in a downtrend, all right? Price pulling back here. Price action for yesterday. Let me get the cursor out, make sure I get the right day. All right, yesterday's price action, lower high, lower low, closing uh, below a bearish trap and uh, below the 17 EMA. So IWM still in a downtrend. We're going to need this to turn around, head back in the other direction if we want uh, a decent, robust rally. Okay, so there's IWM right now. Let's take a look at let's take a look at our technicals. We start with T2122. All right, so for yesterday, what did we do? All right, so we came down here. Uh, from the seller's chop zone and knocked on the door of the oversold zone and the bulls wouldn't the bulls wouldn't let us in so they wound up making uh, a, a low down here a little bit higher low than what we have over here but lower than what we had here and here okay then we made a lower high these are our last highs right here and here made a lower high Okay, made a little squeaky higher low, made another lower high, made a squeaky higher low, and then we made a higher high up here, okay, taking out this high right there. So there's uh, back inside the seller's chop zone. Like to see us get back to the midpoint here, maybe even consolidate up here in the buyer's chop zone. That would be my next move. I'd like to see us either consolidate up here near the midpoint for the seller's chop inside the seller's chop zone or break through the midpoint and really can, that would be better consolidate up here in the buyer's chop zone we'll see what they got in store for us today again cpi might be a good day to sit on your hands you know go change the sheets on the bed do something uh kind of sit back paper trade don't lose your money all right 520 this is t21 22 let's look at t21 23 all right t21 23 this big thick green line that's the prior all-time high this is the most recent all-time high put a little line in for that right there all right that's the recent all-time high this line right here is the prior prior all-time high okay so if you look back here 
you know, wasn't but five days ago, we made all-time highs in T2123. Hey, not too shabby, all right? So here we got 200 SMA. Guess what? 200 SMA is hanging out between uh, the prior prior all-time high and the prior all-time high. Hey, that's that's good. That's really bullish. Like to see that happen on the three-bar chart. We'll take a look at that in a few minutes. All right, so here's T2123 having another pullback here, uh, currently putting in a bull flag or a pullback right there after making that new all-time high up there. Okay, what I don't like is price is underneath the 200 SMA. I like it better when it's over the 200 SMA. Actually, I like it better when price moves up and then consolidates and holds the higher ground. Notice we're making a mountain top instead of a mountain plateau up here. Okay, I like it when it goes up and it holds up here. All right, not quite holding, making that that peak. We don't want a peak, we want a plateau. Want it to go up there and hold the ground, hold that higher ground. That's a really bullish sign for me. All right, when it pulls back like this, Shows me bears are in the area and we haven't cleaned out enough sellers yet to keep price up there. So there's T2123. Again, we're under the 200 SMA and it's starting to hook. See the hook starting to, starting to curl over here. Don't want to get trapped underneath that. T2123, same, same chart, uh, just different time frame. Again, we put in yesterday three more red candle bars okay uh looking like a possible exhaustion big candle down there see that so possible exhaustion showing up yesterday hopefully we can get it back up and start tackling this uh all-time highs again all right like to see it get back up between these two and kind of uh, consolidate inside there notice we are up over a rising 200 sma that's good. Like to see this three bar 200 SMA get up here inside the two priors right here. Prior, prior all time high, prior all time high, and the all time high right up there. Like to see this 200 get up in here. All right, so we'll see what happens. I do have a measured move for T2123, clear up to 637.911. We'll see what happens. Again, we'll see. All right. Right now, we need some bullish price action, hopefully out of FNGU and the rest of the markets. All right, T2123. All right, so here we go. Here's FNGU. All right, getting pushed down by this 200 SMA on the Death Star. All right, so it's got a big force field generating pressure to push it down lower and lower. Here's a pullback here. Got a really long fabric flag. Found some support over here around 310, 305, all right? Price action now coming back and didn't quite tackle that 200 SMA yesterday, all right? And the pre-market, it is tackling that 200 SMA. Actually, the 200 is coming down to meet it, all right? So we need price to get up on top of that, kind of hold the higher ground. That's what I need to see price move up and hold the higher ground and then start uh, consolidating and then start to make higher highs and holding the higher ground from those. So this is FNGU on the 15 minute price action. We gapped up and guess what? We filled gap. All right. Whenever we let's see, we gapped up here on the 9th and then we filled the gap. We gapped up here on the 10th and the bears filled the gap. The bears are, bears are here. They're in town. They're close. They're nearby. Anytime you see gap ups get filled by the bears, all right, that lets you know that they're saying we're here and we're accounted for. Price action gaps up. Had a little three bar pullback here. You can see three red candle bars right there. And then, uh, then we got bullish for the end of the day. Didn't quite, just squeaked out a higher high up there. See that just over the top. Not much, just a little bit. I think Spy did the same thing. 
All right, so that's FNGU. Kind of bullish all day, except for a little three-bar pullback right there. Okay, so let's take a look at some... Hey, let's take a look at energy, all right? So let's go take a peek at USO, QSO. USO is in a downtrend, all right? This is our uh, crude oil fund right here, USO in a downtrend. USO became in a downtrend when it broke this low and this low and this low, okay? So it's in a downtrend, making a lower high, all right, and making a lower low. Okay, so USO broke the lows, so it's in a downtrend. Price action for yesterday. Uh, lower high, lower low, closing under bearish trap underneath the 17 EMA. Okay, so USO in a downtrend. UNG, this is Nat Gas. Nat Gas, this is the all time low right here for UNG, Nat Gas ETF right there. Price action for UNG. UNG is in an uptrend. Became in an uptrend when it took out this high. All right. If it takes out this low, it's in a downtrend. If it takes out this low, it's in a downtrend. All right. So UNG price action for yesterday. Looked like we got a little uh, hammer going on there. Higher low, higher high, closing over a uh, bullish trap over the 17 EMA. So UNG still retains it's uptrend let's take a look at precious metals start with gld gold and silver both in uptrends gold price action yesterday got this bull flag see this is what i'm talking about moving up and holding uh the higher ground okay see how price moves up and then holds the higher ground up there let's see if i can get my drawing tools up Oh, they're, they're way over here. Okay, that's why. All right, so what do we want? We got price action. And let's pick up this. See how price action moves up. And then it holds the higher ground. That's what we like. That's bullish activity right there. That's my bullish bias. Okay, moving up as opposed to moving up and then coming right back down. Okay, this is when it creates that mountain peak. That means there's bears up here. Anytime you see mountain peaks, bears are there. Anytime you see wicks, especially long, tall wicks coming off the tops of these candle bodies, that's showing you uh, bears are up there, okay? Bearish reversals, okay, where price goes up and then comes back down. Bearish reversals, that's showing you, uh, that's, a, that's another peak up there, showing you bears are up there. So there's GLD. Doesn't look like there's too many bears up there because we're holding the higher ground up here. Probably just waiting and consolidating, waiting to see if we can get a little bit more weaker dollar, waiting maybe for price cut. All right, that would cause gold to spike up. We'll see what happens. All right. So again, gold and silver both in uptrends. Here's silver, price action, very similar to gold, but not quite the same. Higher low, higher high, closing inside a bearish trap, okay, and under the 17 EMA. Still in an uptrend, became in an uptrend when it took out this high, okay? That was the uptrend. Took out that high, became in an uptrend. If it takes out this low, it's in a downtrend. If it creates a higher low and then comes down below it, then we have a uh, new downtrend, okay? And we'll go back into a downtrend if it does that as well. So here's silver right now on the daily chart. Um, still bullish, still in an uptrend. Uh, not a very convincing uptrend. Really extended long flag here. Move up all the way back here. There's silver. All right, let's take a look at a few sectors. And then we'll go look at our economics package. SMH, all right. SMH in an uptrend till it takes out this low. Um, I don't think it knows that it's supposed to be in an uptrend. All right, there's SMH really struggling with that uptrend. Okay, XLK, same deal. Okay, it's been in an uptrend since it took out this high. All right, price action. Uh, 
Uh, price action, again, doesn't know that it's in an uptrend. Won't be in a downtrend till it takes out this low. Here's XLK. That's our technology sector. Okay, trying to fight back, get back into that uptrend stat. It is in an uptrend. Uh, it just needs to start making that higher high now. Okay, the pullback's gone on long enough, all right, anymore, and we're going to have ourselves a downtrend. So there's XLK. Let's take a look at XLI. Okay, XLI about uh, seven days ago made all new all-time highs. So here's XLI. Price action yesterday, uh, still bullish, all right? We became uh, in an uptrend when we took out this high right here. All right, now we're in all-time highs, so we're still in an uptrend, just having a pullback right there. Okay, XLI in an uptrend, XLF. XLF also making six days ago, new all-time highs right there on this day right there. We became in an uptrend when we took out this high right there. So XLI also doing, excuse me, XLF doing the same thing as XLI having one of those pullbacks that we're experiencing right now and still in an uptrend. Won't be in a downtrend till it takes out this low or creates a higher low and then takes it out. So there's XLF. Let's take a look at XRT. It's our retail sector. Oh, by the way, SMH, that's our semiconductor sector. XLK, that's our technology sector. XLI, that's our industrial sector. And um, XLF, that's our financials sector. Okay, so now here's our XRT. This is our retail. This is our retail stores, okay? Either online or, uh, or brick and mortar, either one. Okay, XRT. Okay, it's retailers. Uh, not in an uptrend, okay? Not in an uptrend. We took out this low. It was in a downtrend. We took, the, took out this low. Still in a downtrend, took out that low in a downtrend, took out that low in a downtrend, took out that low in a downtrend. So all those valleys got wiped out by this move down, okay? Now, in order to get into an uptrend, has to take out this high. Hasn't done it yet, okay? It's really struggling to do it. It moved up there. It got close, but no cigar, okay? So XRT still in a downtrend all right xrt putting in a lower high possibly going to put in a lower low we'll see what they want to do i do like this tail we got yesterday okay so xrt still in a downtrend all right let's take a look at last one iyt this is our transports transports price action make sure i get the right candle that's the one, okay? Transports in an uptrend ever since we took out this high right here. See that tweezer top right up top there? Took out that high, we were in an uptrend, okay? Won't be in the downtrend now till we take out this low. Either that or we create a higher low and then take it out. So there's IYT right now, still in an uptrend, all right? Making uh, a higher high up here okay all right let's go take a look at the economics package and see if i can get that up all right on the economics calendar the main event is today at 8 30 in two minutes cpi comes out at 8 30 all right mba mortgage applications came out at seven uh we got a petroleum report at 10 30 almost every wednesday we got a petroleum report Treasury buyback announcement comes at 11, and then we'll have Treasury buyback results tomorrow at 2. Tomorrow's uh, economic calendar, jobless claims 8.30, PPI final demand 8.30, uh, natural gas report at 10.30 on Thursday, and then our Treasury buyback results at 2. On Friday, consumer sentiment at 10, import export prices at 8.30. Okay, main event is today CPI, okay? I don't even know if it's going to be a main event because they've already said they're going to do some rate cuts, all right? Unless, of course, they're waiting for this last CPI, then it could be uh, a volatile day. We'll see what happens. Max Payne for today. 
and this is for the options that expire today in SPY. Max Payne is 547. Okay, we're pretty much uh, right on top of that right now. We have one and a half puts to every call, so we'll see what happens with that. So, could have a short squeeze early in the day. We'll see what happens. All right, short squeeze work well when price moves up and it continues to grind up. All right, if it keeps going up, all right, if you allow a pullback deep enough, it'll give the uh, people that are heavy on the put side a way out because they can double down and get out on the pullback. All right, so we'll see what happens there. Earnings calendar. Okay, we got everything here nothing uh nothing is going to really move the markets like cpi will all right so on the earnings calendar we've got uh price action here not price action but you've got notable no, nothing notables here okay nothing that's going to rock and roll the market just some familiar names but nothing that's going to move the markets like cpi or one of the heavyweights okay we've got adobe is going to report Tomorrow evening, it's a quarter of a trillion dollars. They report after the close, it's after 4 p.m., and that's tomorrow evening. Friday, familiar names, nothing that's going to move the markets. Monday, familiar names, nothing that's going to move the markets there. Okay, and the U.S. dollar index, still in a downtrend, making lower highs and lower lows and lower highs and lower lows. Price action yesterday was... Uh, we closed around 101.66, right about there. And you can see in the pre-market right here, dollars moving back down. So that's that's good news. Anytime we have a cheap dollar, it's good for our, our um, goods and services that we sell across the, the nation. All right, so that's it for this morning, all right? Uh, again, probably be a volatile opening in the morning. It's already getting wacky, all right? So... We'll see what they want to do. Again, you already know the marching orders. We're looking for green erases red. So we'll see what happens if they can continue with that 10-minute uptrend. All right, so CPI's pulled back. So obviously the market thinks that it's not bad enough to cause the Fed to, in other words, not good enough to cause the Fed to give a rate cut. Unless, of course, they put in a green candle and wipe that out. We'll see what happens, all right? All right, traders, thanks for hanging out with me for 30 minutes this morning. All right, everybody out there in digital land, thanks, Alan. All right, I will see you all in 45 minutes, and we'll open up the markets. Right now, I'm going to get my video rendered.